Okay. Here we go. Hopefully my controller is actually plugged in. I think it is. Um... So yeah, uh, fun fact, these keyboard commands pop up at the beginning of the game and you cannot use your controller to move past them. You have to use a keyboard. Uh, once we get here though, we can use the controller. It's silly and dumb. We're just going to ignore that continue option. Okay, so we're gonna steal the potion off of the dead body. Or maybe he's just knocked out, you know. Um, this is Steam version of FF7, so it's got some anti aliasing on at least the combat models. I'm not positive about the, uh, the out of combat ones. They look a little nicer. Although the backgrounds look a little rougher by comparison, so... Eh. I don't think this guy has... Oh, no, he has another potion. Dead bitches with potions all over the place. tradition of Squaresoft naming male protagonists after weather events, I guess. I don't know. I don't understand why Barrett's gonna yell at us for moving in a group and then stay with the group. Like... Come on, guy. I remember back when that zoom and pan was pretty cool. Oh, 
able to start a pre-rendered backgrounds, which I thought worked pretty well in this game. Um, particularly because they had a system that would point out where you were supposed to go in them if they got confusing. FF8 it was a little more frustrating, but I have other problems with FF8 that I will get to eventually. I don't know if Cloud has a magnet on his back or how that sword thing works. see it on that door that's really obviously going to move. And that door that's really obviously going to move. It's too bad they couldn't fancy up the background a little bit. Once upon a time at a lower resolution they were pretty good. Also I don't understand what's with these floor numbers. I5, Lambda 7, <laughs> and why Jesse's mouth has to hang open like that. I, I, I think it might be some kind of issue with the, the new models. I would like to test an old version of the game to find out because their mouths are open literally all of the time. Jesse's, uh, Biggs's and, and Wedge's, I think, are all open. And it's a little disturbing. Ah! Okay, see, that's, that's the problem with the pre-rendered backgrounds. Now you can actually tell that Barrett has a tattoo on his arm. Can't really tell what it is though. No. Nope. Maybe someday we'll get a good shot of it. See, like you can see, just Barely, but her mouth is still open. Please close your mouth, Jesse. You can tell her putting a lot of forethought into these battles, choosing your options very carefully. It was right there. Can't make it out. <laughs> Jesse just sliding down that ladder. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Might be because we got in a fight right there. <sighs> I talk to her again. She just says the same thing. With this, that is not a ladder that you press OK on, despite the fact that it's very obviously a ladder. I mean, you just kind of walk on it. Maybe they couldn't put another, like, jump point that close to the first one? I don't know. No, don't get- no, 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 don't get back on the ladder. gonna ignore the fact that I tried to record this twice and fucked up the audio both times and save right over that. Uh, yes, 
the, the faraway year of 1998. Got some marbles. I'm still a little confused about why if Barrett doesn't trust Cloud, he makes Cloud set the bomb. Keeping with the long-standing tradition of Final Fantasy bosses and the first one being your tutorial about some kind of gimmick that will probably never occur again, um, and this guy raises his tail, and that's where the fight gets a little confusing. I should probably be magic in there. I kind of can't believe I don't have a limit break yet. And Cloud tells you to attack while its tail's up, it's gonna counterattack with its laser. Um, I can only assume that Cloud is not very good at battle strategy. I also don't know if they intentionally didn't fix that for the Steam version. Uh, maybe it's just a piece of history now. Okay, now it's tails down. I'm going to hit it with things. Is it a flaming skull? Looks like it might be a flaming skull. in changes every time you switch screens, but I think we'll make it. I'm not sure why the grunts look like they have ball gags. Shinra is just a real kinky place to work. Hey, there's a little break. to run for a second and then let go, you will face the enemy and their back attack will be silly. That was 
probably the definition of overkill. Oh, I suppose we'll save just in case. If I can remember which button to press. I also love how they apparently couldn't fix the fact that it takes the save data a million years to recognize itself. I always thought that that was something because of the, uh, the memory card, like the rate that it could access or whatever. Um, apparently not. Apparently that's just part of the game. Jessie's got some problems. We're gonna help her out. I really like Jessie. I always kind of wish she could keep her as like a party member. Although not, not with her mouth open all of the time. See, look at that. That's just that's just disturbing. I don't. Mm. Jesse was sliding up the ladder this time too, but then I also got into a fight while she was mid ladder climb, so it proves nothing. There's nothing up on that like round thing. It's a waste of time and more random fights. Oh, no, don't hit the button again. I hit the button again. I'm just gonna plucky duck this elevator all day. Pointingly generic. Jessie fell down again. She's having some mega problems today. So we blew it up. For the planet. Now we're gonna blow some more shit up. I don't know why we have to blow this up in addition to blowing the reactor up. It's probably just a covering our tracks thing or something. Cloud wants his money. Barrett probably doesn't have it. So you have two options here. Well, you'd better get out of here seems like the better option. Like, she should probably get out of here if you actually want 
to gain points with her, you pick nothing hay, which... I, whatever. Like, you've been playing the game for 15 minutes. How are you supposed to know you don't see many flowers around here? Whatever, we're gonna buy one. For the longest time, I thought Aerith was wearing, like, a jumpsuit or something because of the way her skirt moves. And super obvious items. Apparently, we also do graffiti. I've always really enjoyed the Mount Colts poster there. Kind of cool. We're gonna fight, why not? So you'll notice that unlike the genetically uh, malformed monstrosities that were guarding the actual reactor, these dudes look like normal-ish human people with helmets and guns. No ball gags. No stupid sexy dancing. game is kind of, hey, look at the model that I can strap to this other model and make a weird looking thing. Yes, they're, they're Cronenbergs a little bit. Oops, there we go. Oh yeah, you can turn on the targeting thing. I, I'm not entirely sure. I guess for bosses that have multiple targets, that's useful. Um, and also the little display bar that tells you the names of the people you're killing. Which I think I might leave on because some of the enemy names are kind of fun. So despite the fact that I wrecked all of these people's shit, they still want to go. We're just gonna jump on a train. That's how that works. Maybe Cloud has magnet boots. See, okay, look, look, his mouth is wide open. It, mm, mm, close your mouths. Everybody wants Cloud to hang around. His hair is so cool. So pokey. And his mouth is closed. It's really impressive. What's up, bitches? Like, I look at those faces. God. Is that a hair flip? I can't tell. Shrug. See? Okay, now you can see it on, on the wedge? Is it wedge? His mouth is also open. Everybody's mouths, except Barrett and Cloud. 
this intentional? Is it a mistake? It's disturbing. Yeah, thanks for not leaving me to die. That was cool. <sighs> kind of like the punks on the train. It's my aesthetic. Low poly red hair. The businessman appears to be clipping through parts of the train. Also, he's a racist. This guy's chill. This train is his house, but it's cool. You can hang. I can't tell if this guy is, like, a admiring the fact that someone blew up a reactor, or... Yes, and if you try to go into the other train car, they're like, look, we understand that, that you lower class people need to be on our train, but just keep it back here, okay? Thanks. Thanks, guy. I'm trying to talk to Jesse here without triggering the train dude. Here we go. That's probably why I like Jesse right there. Anyway. I'm not sure why scale would matter so much in a digital map, but... Eh. I like this detail about each town having had a name at one point. I honestly don't remember it from the previous playthroughs, but um, it's kind of a cool, cool little bit. It would be nice if it came back somewhere, like you found some kind of old documentation with the town names on it or something. We've all got fake IDs, apparently. I also... Don't remember this bit from playing it previously, but uh, I'm assuming it's a nod to the issues that uh, public transit subway systems and, and such have had with people groping people. We're gonna we're gonna encourage Jessie because I like her. getting unexpectedly deep for Cloud. Maybe that is supposed to... It looks like a hair flip. Except that Cloud can't flip his hair. I don't think it's the second one, Barrett.
because presumably they led us up to the front car to get off. It's making a big deal about not being seen together and then in the train yard it's hey everybody let's talk about our mission and the explosion and how the next explosion's gonna be bigger this is not conspicuous at all those people are gonna do it ah keep hitting start talk to this guy, you get kind of a cool view. I'm not entirely sure about how feasible it is to have one giant pillar holding up an enormous slice of presumably steel in that fashion, but eh. That guy's cool too. Yeah, yeah. I'm over here. Alright, business is really gonna be bad if you shoot at everybody in the bar. It's not great. Also, I, I have never been able to figure out what the fuck that says. Shut up, Barrett. Tight Tifer? Maybe it's just like a bad translation of Tifa? I don't know. The date with Ferret might be the best date. Both of these options feel like being an asshole. Whatever. Good luck with that. I, I realize this is alcohol, but it looks to me like Mountain Dew. got inebriated very fast. Rug kind of looks like it says T-Y-F-E-R. sure why this bar says Texas all over the place. I don't, I don't think Texas is supposed to be in this world. Maybe Texas is a multiverse spanning event. There's always some asshole in a cowboy hat. T 
Tifa worries about us. I don't know if that's supposed to be a printer or a fax machine or a... Maybe you draw on the wall and then it prints out what you draw? That would be kind of cool, actually. Barrett has an extremely solid punching bag that never moves. Dad's having a pissing contest with another guy again. Yay! A dissing contest? A dissing contest? No, no, a pissing contest. It could be a dissing contest, yeah. Cloud doesn't care about anything but money. He's got a headache or something. <laughs> Shucks. Shucks seems like a weird thing to say for a guy who, like, literally has to be censored. No, because he literally just said ass in front of her, like, two minutes ago. If you're gonna say shucks, you're the kind of person who worries about ass. Take that face. Well, yeah, of course shit is on a higher level than ass. But what I'm saying is if you're the kind of person who says shucks, everything above, like, ass tier is probably... Well, alright. He could just not be very good at it. That's a possibility. Why did it automatically go back down? Why? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, the planet is dying. The cloud doesn't give a shit. He wants his money. I don't I don't understand the how can you say that response. We're just gonna just gonna suck it up. We forgot. We forgot the Yakusoko to Mamoru Tifa all of the time. We forgot. <laughs> Look, a mass hallucination. Maybe they were looking at a picture? Little baby cloud still mad at everything. So the model for Tifa's feet is as big as the model for her lower leg. Bigger, actually. Cloud's leaving town. He's gonna go to the big city. Look at his little ponytail.
gonna be the very best. Yes, the great Sephiroth. Someday people will name their children after you. That's not a joke. That's a real thing that happened. Can't tell if Tifa's laughing or crying there. Probably laughing. Just doing the tee -hee. You got a you got a memoru. Come on, Cloud. What I don't understand is the first half of that promise, which is if you get really famous. Like if you're not famous, I don't want your ass protecting me. I don't care. Cloud remembers. See if he's angling. If you hadn't if you hadn't added that name a little bit Okay, Barrett, why are you climbing that? Like you could have just rode the thing back up. It went downstairs. into Marlene's college fun. What a hero. Everybody's gone. Can you use the computer? No. Hey, everybody. Seems perfectly safe. <laughs> the tear is over your head, Barrett. Because I don't want to fucking sit through the tutorial. Meanwhile, hey, seven year old, run the bar. She may not get to go to college, but she makes a mean cocktail. So they say weapon store guy upstairs, and what they mean is upstairs in this building. So there's no actual upstairs in Tifa's building. So it's a little weird.
Oh, right. This is the tutorial room. Uh, it's cool and all, but we're just gonna take the materia. <laughs> and the treasure chest that almost crushed me. Whoa, now it's opening forever. Whee! Okay, there we go. Box types and bag types. You can talk to these guys, they tell you all about fighting and saving and we don't care. loves bolts! Oh my god! Can't handle it. Doesn't appear to have any cool shit stuff. I desperately want that bolt poster. Okay, well I thought she meant the weapon guy at the top of this building, but... <sighs> I'm apparently full of shit! I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. A shocking turn of events. It's not you, you guys, I think. I already gave you money. Cloud is the heel bitch, it's because he has the most MP right now, so. It's like a thing going on over here. That's a good one. Hey. Bye, Johnny. people. Uh, Johnny's, Johnny's parents. And a toilet. There's so much attention to detail in Midgar that it's... Well, once you get out in the world at large, it's, it feels a little unbalanced. Cloud saving. 